Hi, my name is Todd Caldicott. I'm a medical herbalist and a practitioner of Ayurveda. You might know me as author of the book Food as Medicine, or as director of the Dogwood School of Botanical Medicine. Well, as part of our multi-year clinical mentorship program at the Dogwood School of Botanical Medicine, we offer a variety of flexible educational opportunities, including overseas training. In February of 2017, I will be taking a small, lucky group of students to study Ayurveda in Nepal. The tradition of Ayurveda in Nepal extends back to its origins in the Himalayas thousands of years ago. The school of Srilakya Tantra, which concerns the treatment of the head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat, was located in the modern-day Janakapur region of Nepal. Nepal is also famous as the birthplace of Siddhartha Gautama, known as Lord Buddha, and contains many important Buddhist pilgrimage sites. Located in the heart of the Himalayas, Nepal is a fascinating country with amazing geographic and cultural diversity, home to over 700 medicinal plant species, among which are many of the most important herbs used in Ayurveda. On this journey, I will be introducing you to the Bhadracharya medical tradition, a fascinating tradition of hereditary Buddhist priests and physicians that draw their practices from the ancient Nalanda University, located in modern-day India. Practicing continuously for almost 800 years, most people in the West only learned of this tradition through the work of the late Vaidya Mana Bhadrabhajacharya, a renowned Vaidya, or physician of Ayurveda, who wrote 47 different treaties on the subject of medicine. About 15 years ago, I was contacted by my colleague Alan Tillotson, who approached me with the idea of publishing the first of Dr. Mana's books, which we published in 2009. Today, this venerable medical tradition is maintained by Dr. Mana's son, Vaidya Madhu Bhadrabhadracharya, who practices in Nepal's oldest Ayurveda clinic in Kathmandu, providing treatment to both the local population as well as patients from all over the world. I have had the great fortune of using many of the traditional remedies prepared at Dr. Madhu's clinic in Nepal and can attest to their unique healing properties in a number of difficult to treat conditions. If you join us in February of 2017, You'll have the option of participating in our two-week immersion program or, for more committed students, the five-week clinical program. During these programs, you'll spend time with me, Dr. Madhu, and other experienced clinicians, including a visit with Dr. Sarita Shrestha at her Devi Ma Ayurveda Rural Hospital. We'll make time to do some trekking and herb walks, introducing you to some of the more important plants used in Ayurveda. You'll also get the opportunity to see how a variety of remedies are made, prepared in the authentic way, according to the classical tradition of Ayurveda. But it won't be all study. We'll definitely take some time to explore the many cultural sites that Nepal has to offer, including Pashupatna Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Hindus in Nepal. Another interesting site is Baudhanat, home to an ancient Buddhist stupa, that is particularly popular with Kathmandu's Tibetan community. And we'll visit Swayumbhanath Temple, of prime importance to the Nawari Bhadracharya lineage, which, according to tradition, is among the oldest temples in Kathmandu, said to contain under the stupa a wild and tempestuous goddess that must be regularly appeased with offerings. Whether you choose to enroll in the two-week immersion program or dig deeper with the five-week clinical program, this trip will prove to be a rich and rewarding experience. To learn more, please click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I look forward to connecting with you and sharing the wonder and wisdom that is Ayurveda in Nepal.